I'm here. All right, Sean. Yes. What's up? This is my boy Aaron. Aaron, Sean, Sean, Aaron. Aaron. What's up? Aaron, what's going on, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? Just chilling in Philly, eating a steak. Are you chilling in Philly, eating a steak? Yes, sir. <laughs> this is not the chili, the chili cheese steak you're talking about, but whatever. He said, <laughs> oh, yes, I, Darren, oh, yes, I am talking about the Philly cheese steak, sir. D- Darren, Darren, he says Yo. he's chilling in Philly, eating a steak. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he's funny, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, yo, man, I've, I've been trying to get at you uh, for the last past, what, hey, couple hey, of days. If I see a, wait a minute, wait a minute. When I see a strange number, the last time I answered a strange number, it was child support telling me I owe $97,000 for my son. I don't answer no more, but I don't know your number. I ain't answering. Well, bro, man, I, I sent you a text, man. I was like, yo, I'm hey, Darren's. Didn't that. Said, I sent him a text. Hey. So I was like, yo, I'm Darren's dude, and we, you know, I hey, want to get you on hey. the podcast. Check this out. When you talk about Darren, well, I don't call him Darren. I call I call him Mr. New York. Uh, you, uh, I ain't even never, uh, you ain't, I ain't never knew his name? Nope. Oh my God, D he man! Why you... my shooting flip flop? D <laughs> man, why, why you ain't tell me this? Why you ain't tell me this, brother? That he didn't know your name, man. I could have came at you like, yo, Mister New York or D Nitty. Ah, uh, he 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 knows my name, bro. Yeah, I know his name, but we just I just call him New York. He got new because every time because one day, man, me and my girl heard you heard him on your show, and she's like, is he black? I said, no, nope, he's one hundred percent white. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I said he's white. I said you remember the white boy? And like, I said you remember the white boy? You said it looked like Charlie Brown. Yeah, that's him. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! D, he said you look like Charlie Brown up in this month. I don't get. I'll start talking like him too. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> nah, he can't. Nah, he, he can't. Nah, he, he can't. He can't. He, he can't do that. If you talk to him on the phone, he like he like yo 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 uh uh-uh, uh yo yo you better drive that truck right yo. <laughs> yo, yo, man. All right. Well, we're gonna we we gonna get this started, man. I appreciate I appreciate D bridging the gap D-bridging between the us, gap man. Between us, man. Hey, no problem. Let me uh let me ask y'all something. Do y'all have on your headset? No, nah, I got you on some else. I don't use no headset. All right. Who's talking you to me? Speaker, though. Who's talking to me through a speakerphone? Him. Probably me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You, I need you to put get take me off the of speakerphone and talk through the phone. Man, come on, man! I gotta hit. You know I gotta <laughs> hit you on the round sound. No, nah, it's no nah, because the sound it it, it I, records better. Yeah, it records better because I'm 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 hearing you through my headset and it sounds all muddled. Oh, is that better? Yeah, that's better. All right, D, what what you want, man? What do I want? What do I want? Yeah, we, I'm on my regular phone. Bro. Oh, you on your regular? Oh, okay, okay, all right, so. All right, so we all to I get. I know what's up. All right, yeah, so. but if I hang up, everything ends. You know that, right? So I'm just saying, like, so you want to call him directly, or you want me to stay on? No, I want you to stay on, man. I mean, you know, you. I mean, I, 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 I would like for you to yeah, stay that's fine, on. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll stay on. Yeah, don't hang, don't don't hang up, man. We ain't trying to trying to kill it. Thank you. All right, oh, what's no, 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 because you know, me, me and him, me and him got something in common. You know what that is, right? Uh. White girls? Night, tra- <laughs> night, <laughs> night transportation? Nope. Nope. It ain't even that. We both from the East Coast. Oh. Yeah, we're both. Hey. Yeah, if I'm from New York, he's from Baltimore. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, I'm, I, and I'm from Ohio. So. Well, yeah, so we all together. Yeah, we. <laughs> so, Mid East. All right, what's. um What, D? What, what's. All right, uh, I got D's name. What's your name, bro? I don't want to miss. I don't want to butcher your name. Oh, my name is Iron. Everybody know me. All you got to do is just say. Mr. B Moore or Mr. Redskins, because I'm a Redskins fan. They know who we are. All right, so Aaron, that's what's up. All right, all right. So that is what's up. Oh, what's all that damn noise? Hold on right quick. Darren, tell tell his baby mama I ain't got no money. I gotta go in the truck, yo. My fucking phone's gonna die. Oh, this is gonna be a wild show, bro. (laughs) <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be wild. Yeah, he's telling you, he's telling you he ain't got no money because he can't even afford a shower. After guys, I'm training. What he said? Pew! 
<laughs> I can't even get I can't even get the introduction out, man. Hold on, right quick. Let me let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead and write down the let me go just in just in case. What's what's uh what's your phone number, bro? Just just in hold on, right quick. Can I get it? Talking about him. me or him? No, him. I need oh. I need his phone number. Oh, I can send it to you. Just, just in case, just in case. All right. All right. What's up, y'all? Lockout man in the building. Yes, in the building over here at the Flying J. Usually I will be in Denny's right now, but Denny's don't have no fucking power. They outlets don't work. So now I have to sit over here in the driver's lounge where everybody over here wondering what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> you, you know, know, you know nah, they ain't, Denny's ain't all power. They just didn't pay the gas electric bill, that's all. <laughs> intro, bro. You'll be quiet. <laughs> uh, thanks to my man, D Nitty. He's on the line with me right now. We got a special guest in the building. My man, Aaron. What's going on with you, bro? <laughs> There's nothing. It's all a good thing. It's all a good thing. Rolling and all making in, some money. All in making some money, huh? You, 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 you up in Philly, eating on a cheese steak. Yep. How, 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 that, and, how, how that? How that? How that? How that cheese steak? How, how how is that cheese steak, bro? It's good, but it ain't like Baltimore. <laughs> you say it ain't like Baltimore, uh, but you know the original. You know the original cheese steak comes from Philly, though. We know that. We know that, but I'm talking about when the Ray comes out, Philly got the good ones, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't nothing better it ain't nothing better than your mom when she used to cook it for you. Oh, uh, you talking about oh man, man, D, he just said the moms. Man, we go back go back to the steakums. Yeah. You talking you talking about that, man? I mean the how, how they used to come with like two thin ass steaks and you put the cheese in the middle? The onions. And guess and the what? Onions? And guess what? I think got mushrooms in it too. No, nah, we didn't do that shit. No, nah, we did know, mushrooms. Like, no, nah, we, nah, we, nah, we did mushrooms. We did nah, mushrooms. I just, I just did. I just put some meat, extra meat on it, some mm-hmm. cheese, mm-hmm. ketchup and mustard, mm-hmm. and Kool Aid, the ghetto juice. <laughs> Who fucking a? <laughs> God damn it, man! You know, yeah, you man. know what? You know what? Back in the day. Mr. Hero was like popular. They was yep. actually using that fucking cheese steak that they you actually those steak them, and they can't. They they try to come on and say, "No, nah, we we don't use that." Yes, y'all do. They went from having them big ass jumbo sandwiches to them hot dog size shit, man. You that's why I don't even. That's why I don't even fuck with Mr. Heroes no more. <laughs> 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 I only want to mess with Mr. Hero, man. I mean, he's a good man. On Bill Cosby, he used to watch his show. He used to eat them heroes and was didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aaron, man. Let everybody know where you from and what you do, man. I'm where from. I'm where I work for Dern. <laughs> okay. For New York. We both work for Night. <laughs> okay. We both out of Salt Lake. Uh huh. You saw. Uh huh. So you know everything is cool. I mean, he's a cool kid. You know, I teach him. I just got to teach him how to, to learn about license. Now he stepped into. Excuse me. He stepped into the daddyhood. Uh, what, 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 what? We ain't talking about. We ain't talking about Darren. We talking about you, man. <laughs> what, what's up with you? We, we, we already. We already know about Darren. What, what about man. you? <laughs> yeah. What, what about? What about you? Where are you from? Like. like where where are you from? Are are you in daddy hood? Uh, my kids are almost grown. I'm counting down my last child support check. I'm doing kid and play across the stage. <laughs> you say you're gonna do that kid you're gonna do that kid and play kid step. Yep, right across the stage. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm from I'm from Baltimore, everything is cool. I moved to 
to Salt Lake about four more, four years ago. You know, everything mm-hmm. is good. It's a, it's a different. It's a good. It's a good change. And some things I see, I wish I was still in Baltimore sometimes. Because some things you can get away with in Utah, you ain't getting away with some of them things. But you know, everything is good. Can't complain it's, about nothing. Kids are grown. Got my last two kids in school. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure they stay out of trouble. It's hard. Is it, it's hard. It's hard. Is it? Is it was life? What what was what was life like up in Baltimore, man? Was it was it was it actually like how it was portrayed on the wire? Yes. Yeah, I've been to Baltimore. It's, it's no joke, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Man, Maryland's no joke, bro. It's like Maryland, that. Maryland, but, Maryland, it's bad. But the, thing, so it was, but the thing is about it, though, we did have respect for each other. These these little kids these days don't have respect for each other. You know. Mm-hmm. You know, like if I see you walking down the street with your mother, what's up, Miss Ann? How you doing? How y'all doing? We might be beefing. But you got that patch with your mother. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, so then... So, when, so when, when, you, when you ain't with your mother, we duking it out. Where's my money? <laughs> okay, so so they had so they had that sun that that uh, that Sunday truce was was real. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh no, we was that was true. That's like when they showed it on the wire. We got upset about that. We're like, man, he's still living. And when he died, we like, oh well, that's how it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, he you won. know. It, it, and he didn't even get killed by he he didn't Omar didn't even get killed by no no none, none of the people that he fucked with he got killed by a a a, a brat a motherfucking a, a little a little what was what was his name um yeah they showed him they I forgot his name but they talking about him now you know they the part about he killed him I mean he's home now the guy is home now you know you know yeah he's that, that home. Shit. That shit crazy. So yeah. Bal- so so Baltimore life was, was hard back in the day, huh? You know what? I tell you the truth, it wasn't hard. It was a way of living. Because mm-hmm. what you was doing then was that you was turning to it as a as a as adulthood, to your family, as a part of raising your kids, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So let's say like for instance, like my son, he wanna mess around with girls. I'm telling him, it's fine to daddy you're gonna mess around with girls. But make sure you got the education, because we ain't got the education to fall back on. They don't care about you no more on that. You know, you just a system. You just a number for them. Okay, 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 okay. So how many uh, how many kids you got, bro? Three. You got three, and and, and <laughs> all of them, and and all of them is uh all, almost uh the, the the cap is almost full, huh? You know it. It's getting funky in here, boy. I got the music playing. I'm playing some Temptation. <laughs> some Marvin Gaye, what's going on? Let it go, let it go, let it go. I'm dancing. Uh, my man, my man says soon it's so you not not to get nosy or get, you know, too personal or something like that, but you you mentioned um you mentioned, you know, child support, man. And it's 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 it's, 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 it's gonna, unfortunate. Wait, 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 before, before you say that, I'm gonna say this. Mm-hmm. If you ain't paying your child support, you're going to pay no matter what. Because once they start taking stuff away from you, your livelihood, you know, I mean, we we might be doing some dumb things. We think we're cool putting names and girl names and your brother's name. But when they get mad at you, you it's better just to have your own. You know what I'm saying? I got you, man. The child, you know. My me 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 my me my estranged wife and my son we we I, I made sure that you know I made sure that I stayed with him throughout the duration man because I I was afraid I I was afraid of child support I mean when I saw what the government or what the courts was doing with these guys checks man dude had a thousand dollars and it, and child support got a hold of him he took home six. Dollars. You right. You right. You right. You right. I, I was. I was afraid of that. I, I told. I, I said, "Yo, if I ever do something wrong while he was still growing up, yo, I, I, I'm going to just sit in the corner and just wait." <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but all. But all jokes aside, though, mm-hmm. with my first kid, with my, all jokes aside, with my kids, my first kid's mother. I'm glad I did went down there to pay child support because I was mm-hmm. not going to deal with her. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, you said you didn't want to deal with her at all. But you nope. you still in your you still in your kid's life though. You didn't yeah, yeah, you, yeah, that's, just that's, because the situation yeah, you between you and her didn't didn't affect the relationship that you have with your kid though, right? Oh no, nah, I'm saying my, you and my kids mother could be dating. Y'all could be mm-hmm. having a good time and I'm gonna get my kid and walk right back out the house with my kid. Come on, we're going to the zoo, the circus, and we ain't going to the circus, you know, we might be just going to the, just take a walk in the playground, you know what I mean? Or sit on the stuff to have a good time just talking about life. It's no, okay. you know, you know. Now, as far as as far as you as far as you being uh, uh, put in the system um, for for child support, what what advice do you do you have uh, for for truck drivers that may that may or may not be in the system? Well, what you talking about, like paying child support or just paying? Yeah, yeah child support. If, if a guy's not making, ain't paying no child support, I think you better just put that money on the side. And go ahead and buy your house. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you look at it now, rent for apartments just getting as high as a house payment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, I rent my house. Smart, if you're smart, yeah, if, you, if you're smart, you just invest that money. You know I mean, you ain't got to live in the house. You can stay out on the road and just do what you got to do. You know, you can take that. You can take all that money, invest in the house, and move somebody in there and make that rent. And that's money coming to see your pocket. You still got that job. You might do five years out here on the road. Your, your record is clean, man. You, you know you can get a part-time job or a local job. Mm-hmm. So you doing that, you know? What's the, what's, what's the average? Now, you say you got three. Are, are you paying child support for all three kids or just or just one or two of the kids? I'm, I'm on my last two. Are right, you on your last two? So what was the what was? You don't have to give me like the actual figure, but what was the ballpark of what they what the what the courts was taking out of your shit? Man, if I tell you, you're gonna look at me like I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we already do that. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up now. All right, All right I'm listening. I'm listening. That, for my oldest kid, they they was they were breaking me. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That mm-hmm. was almost like six fifty eight a month. You know what I'm saying? The, it, it was they was taking that out of each paycheck, or they they hit you up with one lump sum? That was like three something every two weeks. Every two weeks. Man, that's you know. Was you was you a truck driver back then? Nope. Oh, that that's even harder. Nope. What made you what What made you get into What made you get into trucking? The, the 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 child support? No, nope. nope. <laughs> I got I got child looking at. I was doing construction work, and I'm looking at everybody that's a truck driver. While I'm unloading their truck, the truck is nice and warm. And I'm mm-hmm. getting up there. I'm 49. I'm, like that time, I was almost like 45, 46. I said, oh no, I can't be doing this cold weather. Let me go get my CDLs and sit in the warm truck, just like they on. I hear you. How yeah. how 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 old are you now? I'm 52. How long you been in the game? Four years. So you you came in just about the same time I came in, man. I, I was uh, I was uh forty five when I came in. Right. Yeah, I, I was forty five, and I I wanted to I wanted to like drive trucks. I've been wanted to drive trucks, but I never like pulled the trigger on it until I came over to this young lady's. Uh, I came over to this young lady's house to do a tire change and I seen a truck, you know, the big rig in, in the yard next door to the house and her mom's come out of the truck. I was like, Oh, I was like, Oh, that's, I said, your, your parents, uh, I said, that's your father's truck. She was like, no, that's, she was like, no, that's my mom's truck. I was like, what? She was like, yeah, that's that's my mom's truck. I was like, okay. She was like, yeah, my mom's like 40, you know, she got her license when she was like 45. I'm over here like, so she just got her license. She was like, well, no, she got it when she was 45. She's like in her 50s or something like that. And I was like, I'm 45. It's, it's time. I said, if a woman could do it at 45, I ain't no way, ain't no way why I shouldn't be in it at 45. <laughs> yeah, but let me ask you this question. Just, mm-hmm. think of, just 
think if you would have did it when you was in your twenties? Oh my God! You, you see what I'm saying? Man, we we man, if we I, be, I, instead, of, instead of working for somebody, we be owning our own trucks. You know it'd what I'm be, saying? It'd be it'd be it'd be it'd be lockout, nitty, and Aaron transportation. It can be whatever you, it can be it can be whatever you call it. But I know one thing I know. Huh, I'm making that money. You know what I'm saying? Just think about exactly. it. Exactly. You, you just think about it. Twenty years ago, we would have did this when we didn't know what we was told to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just think about it. We would have owned our own trucking company. We would own our own houses. A couple of us probably would have bought some apartment builders. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just think about Pro- it. I mean, you, 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 we, you, we you, probably would have. We probably would have been the next Donald Trump. No, nah, I don't think we'd be that. I'd take it to um Robert Johnson for like he, 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 he. Yeah. Oh man, oh man. So, uh, so Aaron, <laughs> I gotta be Robert Johnson first, or, or P Diddy first. Come on. Oh, uh, you say? Oh no, Jay Z. There you go. There you yeah, go, Jay Z. Okay, but this, I'm saying, but you gotta remember two things. See, you know we had that money like that. We ain't settled down for no one girl. What you, man? Jay Z after he got Beyonce, that was it. That was a rap. That was yeah, a rap. That's after true. He got Beyonce. That is true. That, is that true. was a rap. Man, yeah, he, you know, he man, ain't dude, getting nothing else better than that. He ain't <laughs> getting nothing. He ain't getting nothing uh, else better than that. No way. N- nothing. We know that. We know that. We know that. You know what? You know what's made? That's like um. You look at baseball. Mm-hmm. Remember David Justin when he was married to Holly Berry? Oh, and he fucked that up. How can you fuck that up? Easy. How can, easy. No, that, that's not easy, bro. You don't fuck nah, up Halle Berry, he, man. You know, you know what he said? You know what he what said? What he say? What he say? He said, he he I lost interest in her. I got out man. there with, hanging with her, her uh, uh, Andre Rising, going mm-hmm. to the strip club with him every day, meeting all these crazy girls. Mm-hmm. And when he lost it, he ain't kid, but he's doing good now. He's doing good now with the new wife he got. Think like, he's been married yeah. with her for like 20 years, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, yeah, but still, though, Halle Berry, though, man. Hey, you, you know what they you, say. You, you know what they say. It, it, might, it might be cute, but sometimes it might be have an ignorant attitude, you know what I'm saying? She's going to have a yeah, gunfight but... now, too. You know that, right? Yeah, but, she can shoot. Yeah, she oh yeah, oh like, she's woo. She's you see, you, you seen that? Vi- you, woo. Yeah, she's woo. Nice. Yeah, she's she's nice with that. She's nice with on, that. If you go on YouTube, you can watch them train. Actually, uh, her and Keanu Reeves and that other girl Jade. Some she's nasty too. But yeah, she's gonna have to shoot like for real shoot. Like, well, you know, if you want, if you really want the truth, you can get me off of Winfrey because she got credit. She was five million. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be happy with you. Say, Yo, Aaron's you a gold digger, bro. Aaron, Aaron said, "Bump that." He said, "He said you don't want." He said, "Give me Hall- I mean, not Halle Berry, but give me Oprah, Oprah. Winfrey." She got he said, credit. Get, she, she got she, credit. <laughs> I can walk the boys to get alimony. <laughs> I, I make her head with baby, so she can man, pay me six million dollars a week for child support. Listen, listen, you would have been you would have been set if you had uh if you had Oprah oh, Renfrew. Yeah, you would have been set. You would have been that. you would have been set if you had Oprah Renfrew, man. How did you uh wh- when you came into the game, man? Which way you went to go and get your license? You you went through a school or you went yeah. through uh. I did, I did it the old school way. When I when I left my um, you taught me uh, Maryland, mm-hmm. I went down there and switched my license over. So I said, let me just um, take the written test and see what happened. So I took the written test and I passed it. I'm mm-hmm. looking at this because I'm looking at it like not trying to be funny. I'm not giving somebody money for me to get a driver license. I got a drive for you. You be taking money out of my paycheck. I don't think okay. that's right. You know okay. what I'm saying? So right, what I did. Right. I, what I did, I went down to a truck stop and asked one of them cow haulers or owner operator, hey, can you show me how to do the free trip? And show me how to drive this truck? And they looking at it like, you got your CDL? Yeah. They looking at it like, okay, I see you. They got free labor. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, you can drive that truck for free. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to show you how to do that free trip 
and how to back that truck up and do and do parallel park offset and straight back and drive it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So okay. That's what, okay. Yeah, that's what the guy showed me to do. So when I got my CDL, he got sick and he put me over to Night Transportation. He knew Kevin Knight. And you've been there. You you've been with Knight ever since. Yes, Lordy. Okay, okay. Hey, Darren, I got a quick question for you, man. I, I just got Yo. finished doing the I just got finished doing the video on uh Trucker Brown, man. Uh I don't I don't know if you hip to him, but he said I've seen a few things. He said in this video that um uh, that training is the only way to make some money if you're a solo driver. I can answer that, but you can ask him, I can answer that. He said he said that uh he said that if you like a like a two like you know me I think you should have like at least about a year maybe two you know to start training but he was saying that if you know like 3 months like 3 months in 4 months in or something like that you should start training for the money how how do you feel about I that I don't, I don't agree I think it's got to be in you to, to want to do it and you better be serious about it because people's lives are at risk. You got to, you got to know how to talk to people. That's one thing that, just because you can drive a truck doesn't mean not to explain it or teach it. You know what I mean? So it's a good thing to, to get the money, but just becoming a trainer doesn't mean you're going to get the money. Cause you might have a student that, that doesn't know how to drive correctly. I had a student that wouldn't drive over to, you remember this Aaron, he only do, he only did 20 miles an hour. So I'm like, all right, dude, you need to kick it up a notch, bro. And he was like, no, no, I'm learning. I'm a student. You're a teacher. You're supposed to teach me. I said, listen, technically you're my student, but technically you have a license. So therefore you need to learn how to bring this truck up to speed. Otherwise you need to go back to school and, from day one and learn how to drive this truck on the road. Oh, hold, you know up, I mean? hold, hold up, D. Hold up, D. He told you, he, he sat there and said, yeah. you're the teacher. I'm the student. You supposed yeah. to teach me. Yeah, and I, and I told him, I said, listen, I'm, I'm here to teach you. I was like, but you got to do the law. I was like, you, I, he goes, I, he goes, you want me to speed? You want me to speed? I'm not speeding. I go, listen, I need you to do the speed minimum, bro. I was like, what happens so, if you speed? If you, and he goes, you get a ticket. I said, well, what do you think happens if you go under the speed minimum? You can get a fucking ticket. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't have a reason, if you don't have a reason, to, when you get pulled over and you tell him, hey, you know, the cops gonna go to me. You know, is there a problem? Why are you driving twenty miles an hour? And you say I'm a retard and I don't know how to drive the truck up to speed. You can get a fucking ticket, bro. You might even get arrested. I think in Florida it's arrestable. Like if you're so doing me, it for no reason. Let me get driving. this. Let me get this straight, D. You you teaching this man how to drive twenty miles an hour? <laughs> I didn't teach him to drive that shit. He wouldn't do it. I picked him up. I picked him up from California, right? Right. I picked him up from Cali. He tried to switch that shit on me. Like I'm teaching him that. Yeah. So. I, I picked him up in Cali, right? Yeah, and this kid's driving 20 miles an hour. I'm like, yo, dude, what's wrong with you, bro? And he goes, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not used to it. I'm scared. I'm scared. The mountains, the mountains. I was like, all right, bro, you need to kick it up. It took me 11 hours to drive 200 miles. I was like, dude, this is crazy, bro. You're out of your mind. Bro, like, yeah, I said, I said, you should have, you, you should have, you should have pulled nah, that motherfucker no, over listen, and, man. and hop that, listen, mo you, you should have hopped that motherfucker back to the let, terminal. Let, Listen, there's no way in hell he'll kill me at 20 miles an hour, bro. So I'll let him do his thing. If he gets pulled over and gets a ticket, that's it. You know what I mean? It's his fault, bro. It ain't my fault. You know what I mean? If he's doing like 70 miles an hour out of control, I'd have pulled the ass over. You know what I mean? But you're doing 20, bro. The only thing you're going to hurt is the fucking truck a little bit, if anything. I, I go, I told him, I said, listen, we're going to have a little meeting. I got to take him tonight. I took him to Salt Lake. I said, listen, this kid won't bring the truck up to speed. I, I, I tell him a thousand times in a row. I was like, you know, these trucks, it's a 70 mile an hour speed limit. We're going around mountains on the 70 by Colorado. I was like, these trucks are going 70 miles an hour. He might as well be parked in the middle of the fucking street, like straight up. You know what I mean? I and, 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 and they're not going to see him come around the blind turn. There's only two things they can do. They're going to either swerve out of the way, flip the truck, or they're going to ram right into us, and you're going to lose a truck and, and probably us at the same time. You know what I mean? So I they're like, you. what do you need? What do you need? And I go, listen. I was like, I really don't want him in my truck. I pulled him aside. I was like, I don't want him. You know, but I'll work with them if you need me to. And I go, send me the I-10 and take me to El Paso. It's a straight, straight shot. It's flat. There's nothing more you could ask for, yo, you know? And we'll mm -hmm. work on it. You know what I mean? So I drove all the way down to the I-10 from Colorado mm -hmm. straight down, and I let them take over. First thing in the morning, it's, you know, the sun comes up over the horizon facing the east, you know? You know, like you mm -hmm. get that glare of sun on the black top. It's real hot and shit, and it makes that shine. 
He started driving mm-hmm. slow. He's like, look, it's all wet. It's all wet. We're going to crash. I was like, you're fucking out of your mind, bro. It's and not then, uh, wet. That's that. That's that glare yeah. off the off the highway. I, like, I was like, Texas, wish it rain, motherfucker. I was like, you're tripping, bro. Like, <laughs> it, it, you know what I mean? I was so like, what about? He didn't. He didn't last much longer after that because when we got close to El Paso, I said, listen, you know, there's a border check. He's 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 off the boat. He's from Somalia. So I go, <laughs> I go, listen, you got your green card on on you? He nope. goes, he goes. Why do you want to know? I said, I need to know if you have your green card. I don't need to see it. I just need to know you have it because we're going to go through border checks and they're not going to give a shit. As soon as you say, you know, they're going to ask me if I'm a U.S. citizen, I'm going to say, yes, I am. And then they're going to ask you and you're going to sound like you're fucking from Africa and they're going to say, where's your green card? Straight up. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if you can't at, provide at it, they're going to detain you. They're they going to they gonna take, they gonna rip, they gonna rip them off the truck. What about you, Aaron? What, what about you, man? How how you feel about that, becoming a, becoming a trainer just for the money? No, no. I ain't got no, I'm, I, I'm saying, no, I know what you're saying. I agree with Darren saying, a lot of these people, I mean, even though Darren is a good trainer, Mr. New York is a good guy, he's a good trainer, I ain't got no problem. But he can fail a student, and they still put him in his truck, and he's having an ass in there, you know what I'm saying? Not when mm-hmm. I fail him. They usually get rid of him when I do no, it. They, but I'm just saying, but but I see, it's not just night drivers, it's all the drivers in the industry now. They can't even, can't drive. I'm helping a lady how to back back a truck up. She ain't want to listen to me. I'm okay. training trainers how to train fucking how to park. Good. That's crazy so, shit. So I'm showing how to back up. Guess what she did? She told me, I got it. You don't need to help me. Okay. I'll watch yeah, her back into the train. Wow. I'll watch her back into a brand spanking new KW. Oh, you say she backed into that bad boy. I mean, huh? she saw that thing, huh? The guy was he was he wanted he wanted to kill her. But he knew if he killed her, it ain't gonna do him no good. So he cried. Then he said, Thank you. And she looked so, like, why? Because he he knew he was getting a brand new truck, you know? So driving for uh, how 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 has it been for you for uh driving at night, man? I'm gonna drive at I mean night is cool. There's no problem with night. You know, I always tell Darren, remember, I'm the only, I'm the only brother out of Salt Lake. Okay, okay, okay. They consider me black too, so I'm, I'm with you. There's two, there's two of us. <laughs> but, but the thing is, but what I'm saying, the thing is, if you don't, if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to speak up, like you were saying about team driving or single driving, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to make that money, you know, keep going, you know. You got 14 hours to drive, you know, and they only give you, like, what they say, well, you only got 200 miles, then I got another. If you can do 400 miles a day, just imagine how much money you just made for them two trips. You know what I'm saying? So are you are you driving on percentage? You you a lease driver or you uh you company driving, work, uh, running on uh, miles, or are you training? I ain't training nobody. No, I don't want to say I'm a company driver. Nobody. I ain't training nobody. It's my department. <laughs> I, can't, I ain't got the patience for it. Cause I'm, I'm like, you know, when I was teaching my daughter how to drive, I said, well, will you stop? Will you drive the car like you say? Will you drive? I'm like, you know how bad I want to rock, no? but now she got a license. Now she got me looking for the foot brake on the passenger side. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for it. Nah, I can't do it. It's too, so it's too dangerous out here for some some people just don't I don't know how they got a license. You know, <laughs> like the like the day coming through New York. Two trucks hit each other. Yeah, that's why they like me there, because I know how to do that New York that New York tight, maneuverable driving, parking, all that. All my yeah, students see, I, know, I how don't, to, know how to move. I, I, I don't fuck with New York. I, I don't. I don't care what y'all say about that. I do not fuck with New York, man. Hey, um, Aaron, well, man. Let me, ask, oh, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. What you rather do, New York or California? Neither one. No, 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 no. Ain't no such thing. Neither one. Neither. Let, let, All right, let, New let, York. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Hold up, hold up. Uh, Darren, d- 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 Darren. He he does watch my make the call videos, right? The first, I don't know what he the the. The main questions that I ask, do we get uh, force dispatch up into the Northeast New York or California? Because I don't fuck with neither. So, wait a minute, 
you, 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 you drive at night too? Oh uh, no, no, no. I don't I don't drive at night. I drive for a local company out of Ohio. Oh, okay. Well I'm just asking yeah. the same, but the thing is about it, see you gotta look at it. this New York, you can make money in New York. You can't oh, yeah, make they- no money in California. Oh yeah, we yeah, we get we we get paid. You know, like if we go up in the northeast we get we get northeast pay. Let me hold on, what, what we get? We get northeast pay, we get something else pay, and we get um if we you know go in inside New York, we get about we we get paid for that too. But no, nah, I'm 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 cool. Money ain't everything, bro. It, it ain't everything. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I tell everybody, money ain't everything. Believe me, believe me, it's enough money for me. <laughs> I but feel I, it. I, but I'd rather go to New York before I go to California. I, so if you go downtown, no, wait a minute. If you go downtown L.A., mm-hmm. they look at us and like we ain't ready for you. <laughs> you <sitting there. laughs> yeah, hate you in Cali, yo. Yeah, they hate you. us in Cali. So when we we get there at six o'clock in the morning, we realize we missed the whole day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hear you. We I missed hear the you. whole day. I hear you. So, but, but at least over in New York, you here early? Hey, back that truck up and um, you can get out of here. I don't know. Give me fifteen minutes. Okay, go get my next load. I already made three hundred dollars on it. Got my next load, three hundred. Well, you see what I'm saying? I know. I, 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 I already know. I already know what we need to do, though. I already know what we need to do when we get up into New York and or California. We need to get up in there at night. Get up in there at night. Boom. Get all that shit done, and then leave at night. Wait a minute. Check this out. In California, it doesn't matter what time you get there. What? If you going to LA, you get the six ten, yeah, the two ten. Guess what? You stuck in traffic. You what? Gonna be you gonna be you stuck in traffic. Even at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You hey, I'm trying to talk to all day, bro. It's crazy. Man, you is not getting to L.A. You is not getting to L.A. until like two thirty or three o'clock in the morning. If you leave Vegas, you is not getting to L.A. to three or four o'clock in the morning because of that damn traffic. Yeah, I think that the reason why I think they do that. Because it's, it's cheaper to run your car, put gas in your car instead of uh, paying the gas electric bill. <laughs> All if right. you know how to move through New York, I don't know, to cut you off, but oh, if you go, wait, if go, you go ahead, over go the bridge, it's usually traffic's in the bridge. So, like, once you get over the bridge, say, like, it's 95 is jammed all the way up to Connecticut, I would get off right there, take the 87 to Albany. Like, you take the 87 and you get up to 287, take that up, and you get on the 684. You can shoot right up, right beside the 95. No one even knows about that unless you're from there. And you just cook all the way up. The speed limit is like 75 miles an hour on that, on that road. That's you, just bomb, you bomb right up there, yeah. And you, you never have an issue in New York. The only time there's a problem in New York is the bridge traffic in, in rush hour times or if there's an accident. That's it. Otherwise, there's no traffic. That's what's yep. up. Hey, Aaron, man, listen. D told me this. Uh, well, he at least gave me a little bit of the, of the story about what happened to you, man. About uh about this uh miss uh what is it misidentity identity. Or, uh, identity or whatever man talk to me yep. tell me tell me about tell me about that man what what happened I don't know they say they say I I'm gonna put it to you this way I think they just pulled me up just to keep somebody calm and I think I was just pulled out because I was a brother running back to my truck you know how you get you sitting at the gas station so I run back. Tell him, tell him how you got there, bro. How, how, it all yeah, happened, how yeah, tell me how it all happened, man. Tell me the story. Start That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So they said I did something. They pulled me over. I was I got a, you know your way around Utah? No, I'm not hip. I was to on I fifteen. I made it from exit sixty mm-hmm. to all the way down to fifteen. Okay. Well, exit thirteen or something like that. I was in Washington. They told me I did something. They brought me back and they started asking me questions. I'm like, really? I said, is my fingerprints on that truck? No. Is my fingerprints on the counter? No. Now all these counters, cameras around here, you mean to tell me I'm doing that? Doing what? That's the, do, doing what, uh, Aaron? Oh, they try to say that somebody tried to rob the store. Okay, okay. So, you know, I'm looking at them like, okay, I ain't, I ain't, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Once I got, they started asking me questions, I knew they had nothing on me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, didn't they say something about abduction, like a girl or some shit? Yeah, no, that that's me. yeah, that's Wait, that's no, the no, one no, I want to know. Me. No, that wasn't me. That was a guy from Swift. I knew the guy that got charged with it. 
They oh. tried to charge him with it. Yeah, he wasn't above us. He was from a square. Oh, oh, okay. oh, yeah. oh yeah. okay. Because that was that was the story I was that that Darren oh, told no, me about. No, it was a guy. He got pulled over. I knew him. He went to the same school I went to. Second company I went to. Okay. He got pulled over, and they said he was um he tried to deduct the child. So when I I was, uh, they showed them our videos, you know, night and swift together. They looked at my video and said, "Wait a minute, this child running by." The truck, and I'm looking at it like him. He's saying the same thing as a father. What man will leave his child in a truck by himself? Right. You know. So we talked about it. Yeah, we talked about it, and he said, "He said it's crazy." I see if I can get his number and see if he want to talk to it. But he, he let him go. You know what I'm saying? He let him go on his own recon, and I'm looking at him like, what? What? Wait a whoa, whoa, whoa. As much as I'm, you know. You know how you make a mistake and say you hit a girl, you and your girl wrestling, and you know how they hold you on a hundred something thousand dollar bill. You know you ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 okay. But they, they let him go on his own recon. I said, get the hell out of here. So that was just uh, so that was just a uh, mistaken mistaken identity on 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 that part too. So yeah, over here, I'm so like, mistaken identity for that one, and then mistaken identity for you for what they they trying to say that you try to rob that that you robbed the store. How how did that all play, how did that all play out? But well, me, they let me go because I'm saying I think what happened was somebody got robbed on the truck stop. Uh huh. And I guess it, I guess when they see me pulling off, they said it was a night driver. Did it? Okay. Okay. And- when they pulled me, when they pulled me over. All right, you took me back to the station. You asked me questions. And don't really ask me no any of you know, I'm not trying to be smart. But when they say I try to rob somebody, I'm like, what? I ain't got nothing to do with that. Really? So who, who, who was the one that went to, got interrogated? That was you or them? I thought Knight came down and got you. That's, no, uh, Knight came and got me for that armed robbery. Oh, so to explain that, what happened? Yeah, well, I don't know what happened, but I mean, so I told them to look at my camera. You know, they pulled the Knight camera out. And they said, oh, he was sitting in his truck. So you were detained. They took you. Yeah, they detained me. They didn't arrest me or nothing like that. I ain't going to even lie to you, man. I'm scared as a mug, though, because I did not want to go to jail in no Utah. Yeah, but why they, but why they was... What was the store? What, what, what? It was a liquor store or another driver? <laughs> what? No, another driver got robbed. Uh, another driver so, got robbed. Got robbed. We was at the Loves. He was at Love's in Utah, uh-huh. and they said they said what happened was that that the, um, the police department wanted to talk to you back in town. Okay, no problem. Okay. So they said when I got there, they said, "Well, what did you do today?" And I just got smart and said, "Man, just tell me what you bought me and this bad boy for." Right. And it, next thing they said, "Well, somebody got robbed, and you fit the description." I do. Mm. I said, I said, well, if I fit the description, why are you asking me questions? Why are you not arresting me? You know what I'm saying? That's that, my question. I said, I don't know why you wasn't arresting me. You shouldn't even be asking me questions. Because I could have went and got a lawyer and just be out the door in a minute. Well, that's, then I said, well, Knight, I said, Knight got cameras on the truck. Well, that, that saved me. That was, that was saved me was that camera saved me. That, but they that's, showed him I was fit. that's what they say all the time. They, they, you, you fit the description. The, ain't yeah. that ain't that how uh ain't that how that what was that movie Life with Eddie Murphy and uh Martin Lawrence they 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 yep. fit the, they yep. fit the description that's that's all yep. that's all it takes that's all they need yep. for they for they probable for they probable cause for they probable cause you fit the description that's it okay I said okay but it shows them you know what I'm saying the only thing that really saved me I guess Kevin Knight sent his lawyers down there. Because that camera must have saved, saved me. Because I, I know they were supposed to be taking you back to your truck. Yeah, because they were, they were, from what I understood, they were holding them until until uh, they were trying to figure out what they were going to do with them. And then when Kevin's lawyers seen reviewed the video, they, mm-hmm. they seen like, that's it. We're taking them out of here. And that's it. They went down there and they said, well, Yeah, they got me out. They pulled me out. All right. So since you've been... Know. Since you've been in the game for 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 four years, man, what's what 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 do you think? Uh, what, what's your likes? What was what was your what's your likes and your dislikes in the game? The likes, 
Life is like, it all depends. I mean, at Salt Lake, we cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with no drivers. You know, even even the old heads, they, they cool with me. They, they used to help me out as much as they can to show me how to back up. So now when the new guys come in, I help them out as much as I can. So what they taught me, I try to pass it down to the younger guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So well, I try to help them out as much as I can. But if you don't want to listen, mm-mm. Because, um, like, Dirk, I ain't saying he's doing anything wrong training. And I told the guy he trained with, Train him, I say, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with the way Darren trained you, but you need to learn how to be safe with that truck more than anything. Learn how to be safe with that truck and learn how to make that money. That's all. Okay, what's your dislikes about the game? The dispatch. <laughs> some of them just <laughs> some of them just don't some of them just give you some crazy runs and you be looking at it like, what the heck is this? But you gotta take it because you gotta make that money, you know what I'm saying? With the wheels sitting, you ain't making no money sitting at a truck stop. You know what I mean? I got you. I got you, man. I got you. What keeps you motivated yeah. in the game, man? What'd you say? I said, what keeps you motivated? Every time I look around, I look at my kids. I'm blessed because they're almost out of school and they've grown. And, they, you know, the way I'm saying, like, I hate to say it, but the way we, the way I, we are genocizing each other, I'm blessed to see my kids still here and doing good, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So I'm motivated to make sure that they see what I do as a father, as a man, and be responsible to take care of my business. So if you have a kid, you got to do the same thing. I got you. I got you. All right, man. Well, hey, Aaron, man, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you, D. D nitty in yeah. the house. <laughs> What's going on? Bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. D- <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that kid that does those videos? <laughs> like he's acting like he's dancing and stuff. He's looking the other way and he goes, bro, and that girl like busts her ass or something funny happens. Yeah, man. I got uh, that, that, that. I got that. But I got that, and I got that other that uh, that really that my favorite one. Let me see if I got it. I don't know if I got it. Hold on, right quick. Let me see. I can't uh, roll, bro. No, I don't even have it on here. Hold on, wait, wait. Do I got? Nope, I don't even have it in that bank. I got this one though. Hold on, I got I got this one. How <laughs> that's, that's my favorite one right there, man. So, bro, that brun. Oh! And this one, yeah, the one with all the, with all the kids. Hold on, I yeah. think I got, I think I got the, uh, I got, I got this one too. Smoke weed every day. Oh, yeah, that's that's, oh, my, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. my favorite right there. It's funny when you do those make the call videos and they're like, "Yo, you do uh, the urine or the hair test?" And they're like, "No, just urine." He's like, "Smoke weed every day." <laughs> I, did, I, I did hit that. Smoke I weed did hit day. that. Every time I ask that question, they'd be like, "Yeah, um, yeah. So we we just do the urine right quick." Oh, okay, all right. Smoke <laughs> weed. <every day>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you, hey, wait a minute. When we do the hair test. Dad ain't gotta worry about it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he ain't gotta worry about but it. But you know they gotta you you know they gotta find you know they, they gotta find some type of hair. You know, they they can use all kinds of hair. Oh, they'll take you, they'll let you go. Yeah. If, you, if you can't provide any hair, that's it, you're gone. Yeah, they'll, you they'll wait until you grow it. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, can find, you can find any you can you can find any kind of hair. You know, they'll they have to be inch and inch and a quarter long and it has to be I work with safety. Inch and a quarter long and at least hundred and forty strains you need. That's crazy. Dude, and they can and they can go and they can years. and they can go back like what five five years? No, that's, that's, well, if it's that long, yeah. But if you want to beat that, I I know how. You just gotta wait. You gotta wait until you're clean. Once you're clean, you gotta let that that hair grow out. Your hair grows about what a quarter inch every month. Mm-hmm. You gotta let that grow out, and then we shave your head again and let it grow, and then you'll have no issues. So if you do do some stupid shit and you want to get in the game. You got to make sure you're legit, clean, clean, let your hair grow out like a month or two, cut your hair, and then let that grow, and you're good to go. You'll be fine. But my my thing is this. Why why even jeopardize? If you know that you're about to go to the you, – you're about to go to these trucking companies, and you're about to go to the orientation and all like that, what is the point of, of, of doing that? Smoke weed and, every day. And you know that you about to go you, you you about to go to the orientation only to know that your ass gonna get kicked out because you ain't clean. 
Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's wait, stupid. Wait, 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 hold up, Let me ask you this question, Mr. YouTube. I'm going to ask a question after you ask a question. Yeah. Let me ask you a question, <laughs> Mr. YouTube. Okay. Counter, he's counter questioning you. Yeah, okay. Mr. YouTube. He swatted your shit. Yeah, yeah, Mr. YouTube. Uh huh. Uh huh. I say me and, you about, me and you about the same age, right? Yes, sir. All right. Think about it. When we was growing up, we was what? Illegal, right? Uh, illegal. illegal. If you got caught, you was going to you was going oh, to the damn. big house. You know what I'm saying? Illegal? How? Illegal. The weed was was illegal, and now yeah, it's legal. About, to about when oh, we oh, oh, up, oh, 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 yeah. I, I, I never, I, I never, I never fuck, I never fuck weed, weed back day. in the day. But right, I mean, but I'm just saying. But if you smoke weed, or or you walking down the street and you got you got pop, right? Right. Now look at it. Kids these days say like, my, like my little nephew. He's working at UPS, making almost. He's twenty four. No, take it back. He's like nineteen or twenty years old. You know how hard it is to get a UPS, right or wrong? Right. Is he a driver or he he just works there? He just worked there. He was in the warehouse. Oh, okay, he's then. Weed. What? Yeah, he's that, smoking weed. Yeah, but that's not that, that's warehouse though. He's not driving. But, we no, get, I'm just saying, but in general... Yeah, we're federal, bro. We federal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying, in, you know what I'm saying? In general, the law is saying you're allowed to smoke weed. But what? these companies are not going to let you smoke weed. But not as a driver. When you turn your license, that's it. It's over. Not, not, as a, not as a driver. Smoke weed every day. I mean, no. I, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, you... What I'm saying is, you want to come, you, you want to come into the game. You right? you want to come into the game. You get you get the call. You, you get on the phone. Uh, right. Sopra- soprano trucking is is bringing you in. You you t- right. you, you get all the way up to Utah. Soprano. You get all the way up to Utah, y'all. You you come into the you you come into the orientation. You sit down. Right. Then they send your ass over to the uh over to the uh DLT to the, the DOT physical. Now, if you were smoking weed. Smoke weed every day. Before you came, my thing is, if you was doing it before you came, you can't be mad if they're going to send your ass all the way up back home. But yeah, okay, now, here's what I'm saying with you. If the government is, I mean, I ain't saying, I know I don't smoke weed, so they can piss me all they want. But you got to look at it. A lot of kids looking at it like, well, it's legalized to smoke weed, so why can't I smoke weed in the truck? Well, listen, if you're going to get into this game, well, to answer the question real quick before you just drift off again. To answer this question, if you're going to get involved with this game, you need to put that shit down. Exactly. You need to put it down. And if you didn't, if you're doing it now, you need to plan before you go in. You got to make mm-hmm. sure you're straight. Like I said, do what you're supposed to do. And that's it. You put the guns on the table. That's it. That shit's over for you. Yeah, that's no, what it should be. You're not going to need it. And that's it. That's but, it. It's not worth it. Not, it's not worth ruining your life and not having shit and having to struggle for a fucking 15 minute, 20 minute high, whatever the fuck you do. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, but it's even, not even worth it. Even I no, listen, I, I get what you're saying, uh uh Aaron. I get what you're saying. The shit is legal. Yeah, that's right? I, I get what you're saying. The shit is legal. But it's still uh it's still illegal for us truck drivers because it's right. federal. Right. We know that. We know that. We you could know be that. parked. You could be but, parked. Listen, uh, you you could be parked. Just so you understand the severity. You could be parked in a rest stop sleeping. They knock, on, they knock on your door and they say, hey, listen, we're going to give you a, a level one inspection and a surprise drug test. If you test positive and you're in that fucking truck, that's a DWI. You're going to go to jail for a DWI, even if you're not driving. Yeah, we know that. You, you know that. Yeah, I know that. I'm just yeah, making sure that listening that. right now, they understand that. You right. Know what I mean? See, a lot, of the cats, a lot of the cats that's coming into orientation don't, don't know that. Don't understand that. that. Yeah, and they think that oh, I'm gonna pass it one time. This isn't you don't got a regular job like at a, at a damn Burger King where they're gonna piss you once and that's it. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get surprised. Bro. They're gonna catch you, bro. They're gonna catch you. You're gonna slip. You will. You will. You will be caught. It's just a matter of when. Exactly. You know I mean? so just like around. just like what happened to that truck driver up in um uh what was that? What was that truck driver? Uh, Wilson. Was that was that Wilson? I talked to. I, I know I talked to one somebody. I know is the one on uh, Castaway. No, no, no. Ball. It was it was uh, <laughs> it was an interview that I did, and it was one of the drivers 
that I talked to, it was it was either a driver I talked to or a video that I seen that one that the driver was dri- the driver was driving and he got pulled over by DOT. The dude jumped out of the truck because he had it, he he had weed smoke in the truck. The pat the dude that was in the passenger got in trouble got in trouble for it because they thought that he was smoking too and he wasn't and it was the it was the uh driver that got out of the truck ran away from the truck because of the weed so yeah you you can't you gotta leave it alone bro you gotta leave yeah, it alone. You yeah you can't you, it's time to you, go you, up. You, <laughs> you, know you gotta leave it alone but a lot of people come in like a recruiter recruit you like today they won't ask you did you take a um a, um your analysis or right. drugs or drug test Right. They're just bring you in. Yeah, they don't care, bro. They don't want to. No, they, they, can't just, hear, they can't hear that you did anything. Oh, I'm dirty right now. They can't hear any of that. They, they, that's why they ignore it. You got to. You yourself got to understand that you can't have that shit. Just blow them off. Be like, listen, I'm gonna mm-hmm. come, but I got things I gotta take care of. I got a funeral. I gotta go overseas. Some shit. Whatever the fuck you gotta do. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. You know you're gonna I mean? need that. You're gonna need that time to. You're gonna need that time for all of it. The 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 regurgitation. Yeah. To regurgitate out of your system. Check this out before I get up out of here, though. I talked to one of my female trucker friends, and she actually got pulled over by DOT. Was that DOT? Yeah. She actually got pulled over by DOT. No, that wasn't DOT. That was uh, Border Patrol, I think. Ain't, ain't, border, ain't, ain't, border, ain't, ain't Border Patrol the one with the dogs? They all got dogs. Border Patrol got dog dogs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She was. Where you at? She was pulled over. She she came into the thing, and they had the a drug sniffing dog. Check this out, y'all. Check this out. She said that this motherfucking dog had like super, had like super nose. Hold on, right quick. Let me hold on, right quick. She she could probably better explain it. Border Patrol tried to. Hold try on, to come shit. into my truck and have my dog. My dog try to attack his dog. Hold on, hold on, right quick. She she could probably better explain it than I can. Hold on, let me. Hold on, right quick. Uh, let me see. Hold on, hold on, right quick. Please leave your message for. Bring the face. Damn. He ran hold, away. hold on. Let me, let me try. Let me try her one more time. Hold, hold on right quick. Let, yeah, me, let me know when it's playing. So you yeah. shut up. <laughs> let me, let me try. Let me try her one more time. Hold on. Let's see. Please leave your message for. Ah, damn it. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. I think that's her to just. Oh, okay. She says, uh, hold on right quick. ASAP. A-S. You got a good memory. Remember all this shit. AP. You better. He know, oh. he know this. He gonna All be the right. he gonna be the next he gonna be the next DJ on on ninety Q Q. Nah, I ain't, be, I ain't gonna be the next DJ. <laughs> no, I'm just a, I'm just a lonely truck driver out here. Um, but let me let me let me just paraphrase, you know, just just in case she uh, she don't call me back. But she said the dog, the drug sniffing dog, had some super fucking nose or some super fucking smell that. He that the dog smelled a piece of a marijuana up under the up under the bed. So they got her out of the truck. Oh, here she go. Here she go. Hold on, my quick. Hold on. Hold on. I want to merge her. Eliza. Oh. Okay. Eliza. What? Hey, do me a favor. I got. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got uh I got you on live right quick with my man D and with my man uh Aaron. Tell mm-hmm. tell tell, <laughs> tell them the story when you got pulled over by the uh what was that, Border Patrol? Or wh- where was you when when the dog smelled the 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 piece of marijuana? Sarita, Sarita, Texas. Tell, oh yeah. Tell the story. Um, okay, so coming through Border Patrol for the first time, seventy seven, heading back to where the hell was I going? Um, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh first time through Border Patrol. I pull in and shit. I'm all excited seeing the dogs and shit. Like, ah, oh, this is cool. Pull up. The guy asked me, where am I going? I told him I was going somewhere. What are you carrying? Carrying something. He's like, oh, okay, cool. Well, you see that number two over there? Go ahead and pull over there. I'm like, for what? He's like, the dog sit on your truck. He's like, I'm like, okay. You know, I just carried a food great load. The fucking trailer smells like pepperoni. That's probably what he smells. I'm in the office and, you know, talking to the lady. He comes back in. He's like, okay, I need you to be honest with me. Do you smoke marijuana? I'm like, no. He's like, mm, are, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Are you, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I would probably know if I smoke weed. You know what I mean? He's like, well, I'm just asking because some of the drivers come through. They're like, honest. They tell me, you know, that helps them sleep. Only thing they need, <laughs> need is nice sleep is a day. fucking bed. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool on that. So anyway, he's like, well, the dog's on your truck underneath your bed, so we're going to have to go inside, and we're going to have to search. Maybe by all means, do you ball out, have fun. So they go inside of my truck. I'm still there. I was there for a total of about an hour or so, 45 minutes, an hour. Anyway, he comes back in, and he's like, uh, are you an owner? I'm like, nah, I'm a company driver. He's like, uh... So how long have you been with the company? I'm like, shit, about two and a half weeks. He says, okay, well, I'm going to let you know this. Um, you know, you're not going to get a ticket. I'm not going to write it up. But as soon as possible, you need to go ahead and um, give that truck a thorough cleaning. And I'm like, cleaning for what? Underneath the bed, underneath the mat, he found a fucking bud the size of a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not a nickel bag of weed. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Pull out a fucking nickel, look at it, and that's how big that butt was. I said, so wait a minute. You're trying to tell me that that dog smelled that butt underneath the mat, underneath the bed, from Smoke the weed, outside everybody. of the fucking truck? Yes. Yes, yes, that's what he said. I said, well, Fifi Fido, whoever the fuck the dog's name is, <laughs> needs dog of the year because ain't no motherfucker. I sleep on this bed every night. Never smelt that shit ever. But the dog did. So, yeah, if you're going through, be careful because they are out there searching and they got super dogs. <laughs> I know what it is. It's just whoever whoever had that truck was smoking outside of it or whatever, and they it, the, the smell is on it. Like when that residue hits it, it's like a sap. So like the, the, it'll stick. Yeah, but so this, not the I mean, he, 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 he found a butt. He no, 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 I believe it. He That's because he knew yeah. it was in there. Yeah, whoever, he, whoever, he went digging, baby. He was digging yeah, yeah. underneath no, I believe the fucking you. But, but listen to <laughs> Listen though, the, the dog smelled a piece of bud outside of yeah. the truck, bro. Yeah, they yeah. smell because the, yeah, the, the truck was the truck was live already. It, it, it could smell the truck, so then they sent them in afterwards, and it located whatever whoever dropped. Yo, potheads are stupid, bro. They fucking drop shit. Once they hit it, once they hit it, that's my. No, but yeah, it's a good dog. Right, right. so that is Wonder Dog. Like that (laughs) motherfucker (laughs) needs to (laughs) change. She called it. <laughs> that is a wonder dog. Right there. Yeah. I guess, I guess, I guess when he, when he that dog, you gonna go buy that bad boy, ain't you? Oh, 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 I like the party line thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. If they have wonder dogs like that to sniff out motherfuckers that old child support, baby, all oh, you motherfuckers would be here. Oh, that's funny. You brought that up. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, 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 oh,
snitched out Aaron. She, she did. did. She, she did. did. <laughs> she just dropped on Aaron. <laughs> Hey, wow. <laughs> oh, 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 I was just being, I don't know who, who the fuck I'm saying. You need to listen to this show later after you play it. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> 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 I'm too I'm reckless too. Oh, yeah, you, do that. you hit the nail on the head. You weren't reckless about that. <laughs> she is over. She is over. She told me, oh, hey, them dudes now have sniff off people that head. Man, do you know how rich the government will be on that? Oh, my God. I just know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then just what is? Do you know how broke social service will be just looking oh for people? Oh, they wouldn't be broke, baby. They wouldn't be broke. They just need, like, 10 wonder dogs. I'm trying to say. <laughs> she said 10 wonder dogs. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. 10 wonder dogs. They can't over the planet. You understand me? Yeah, let me ask you this question. Hold on. Where you from? From Ohio, baby. Oh, well, we take this out. If you got a, a super dog, you know what I'm going to do? What you going to do? I'm going to put some coffee around him. He ain't going to even mess with me. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you say that. You and it's so funny that you say that. Now, listen to this shit. Listen to this shit. You say that, right? <laughs> prior to, because I'm a clutch, prior to me going through, right, I spilt a fucking cup of coffee on the floor. Okay? Mm-hmm. So I know the I know the fucking coffee thing is all in the back. You know what I'm saying? But the wonder dog still smells the fucking blood through everything. Do I cook in my truck? Like I'm um, weed every day. You know what I'm saying? Out here in the truck. <laughs> it's so weird. The fucking dog smells it through it all, man. Through everything. That's what I'm tripping on. I, I'm tripping on the fact that the dog sniff. Out the, the the dog gets outside of the yeah. truck. But my whole yeah. thing is this: that shit when it was like real live, that shit had to be the best bubonic fucking plague type weed ever because the <laughs> shit was so fucking old. It's covered in oil and dirt. And it's under. Do you know how fucking thick this goddamn mat is? Yeah. It was underneath the fucking mat. Yeah, Alley Cat, Alley Cat. Yeah. How how did it how did did he come in there holding the bud in his hand when he was asking you Dude, that? Listen to this shit though. He's like, you know, you still got a little paraphernalia back there. He's got the you know, he's got on these fucking thick ass surgical gloves and shit. He had the bud wrapped up in a piece of fucking paper. Like, he scooped it up. Like, I don't know. Like, they were back there scraping the mat or some shit. He was like, I just wanted to look at this. <laughs> and I'm looking, and I looked at him, and I looked back at that buddy. He's seen all over my face. You know what I'm saying? If I tell this bitch she's going to get a ticket, all oh, hell is going to break loose in this place. Let me just <laughs> let her know off rip. Ma'am, I'm going to let it, you go. Awesome. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. Let me reel it in, Dan. Let me reel it in. Cause uh yeah, I was gonna go postal in that bitch. That's all I know. I to go down for something that you didn't do. Now if I did the shit, you know I'm gonna fucking bust it. You know what I'm saying? But to go down for some shit that you had no parts of, oh hell no! Everybody going down. I'm sorry. I got. Mm-hmm. All right. I got. I got. I got. I got so, a see- mm-hmm. so you gonna take the whole crew with you, baby? Fuck the crew. It's all about me. Let's just be honest out here. <laughs> Let's just be honest out here. On that piece of fucking plastic in my fucking pocket, and you know the crew's name for it. Hey, give me somebody. I'm pointing my finger at his ass. I'm just saying. 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 Listen, you go out. You go in that perfect you order in the court. Uh, Fuck that shit. You go out. You go out. You go drink it with your crew. You drive it. You can pull it over. Is all the crew getting a ticket for DUI? Mm-mm. You getting that motherfucker ticket for a DUI. It depends where you at. Listen, 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 listen. I don't listen. Even fly at fuck with nobody in this truck but me. So, oh. I mean, possession is nine-tenths of the fucking law. <laughs> the devil is a lie. I'm not going down for no fucking body. Oh, I love you me some Listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 listen. I got, I got a situation for you guys. 
Now listen, I I just got finished talking to another uh, uh another female trucker friend before before uh before we all got together. Here's her situation. She was up in uh, Michigan, right? She went through. She was number one. She was empty. All right. So I don't even understand why. You know, if you're empty going through a scale house, you're supposed to be like wave on through because you're empty, right? But <clears throat> Unless she, you work for a shitty company. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got True. you. She's not, that, that she's might, not wrong. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you're right about that. You're right about that. So she, she's <laughs> right. So she drove. So she, she, she drove up to the uh, to the scale house, and the 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 DOT officer came outside. Okay, he came outside. Got up on her trucks, must be, you know, small talk to her or something like that, and told her to pull over. Now, when she's she trying to get her number, <laughs> you know, right? But no, he pulled it. She's over in the parking spot. The reason why, now, number one, the reason why she was pulled over was because she had too much shit in her, in her dashboard. At least that's what the DOT <laughs> officer said. She okay. had. Okay, keep going. She had too much. She had too much stuff in her in her dashboard, and that was the reason why they pulled her over. Here's okay. here's Happy the door. here's the situation, and this is geared towards you, Allie. Here's the situation. They search her truck because the DOT officer said he had probable cause. Okay. What what would have been the probable cause? She it it wasn't it know. wasn't no smell. If it, her dashboard looked like a goddamn garbage bin, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what the fuck going on in her truck. So Hell, he probably just wanted to know how nasty she was. Probably uh, call to see how nasty you was. All right, so <laughs> so let me so so he asked so he asked her. He did asked she her. Smell like liquor? Did she did she nope, did her truck nope, smell like beer? Nope. Or she, anything nope, like that? Nope. No did beer. Smoke? Nope. No smoking. No beer. No nothing. She he asked her, did she have any, you know, have any weapons or anything in the truck? She told him that she had a knife. All right. So she told him that she had a knife. I still, me personally, still oh, don't man. think that's uh, me personally, I still don't think that's probable cause for searching the truck. But uh, uh, something I, I don't even up. consider that a weapon. <laughs> but, I don't know. Yeah, something yeah, yeah, add up. Something they add up. She ain't telling you something. She leaving out a key detail in that shit. Because out of all the inspections that I've been through, not one fucking time has anybody said, we got probable cause to go inside of your truck and search any damn thing. Not what? one fucking time. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Before we even before we even discuss any more on it, you know, definitely watch the watch the interview, uh, watch the video because I that I'll be, I'll be doing I'll be doing it up. But my thing was this: when she told him, when she told him that you know she had a knife, you know, a knife because going through Michigan, the knife could not be no more than uh, three inches, and I think she had, uh, I think she had. Uh, uh, one of them big ass boar knives. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You had to have. So let me you know, ask this. You had to did be she protected. say? Did, was this? Was this be prior to him saying that he had probable cause? She told him that she had a knife. Yes. Okay. Well, then there's your probable cause. Oh, okay. If you just stated a law stating that the knife couldn't be but X amount of big, and then she admitted that she had a weapon in the truck. Yeah, probable cause to check and see if yeah, the knife was regular. She didn't have to say anything. She shouldn't have exactly. said anything. She exactly. Don't you know that? Was... Cover my clothes. I ain't got shit in here. Just don't me you and know Jesus. What they say. Just me they and Jesus. Say. We got the right to make salad. Yeah, Fifth Amendment. What's up? I don't know. Like, I don't know. You be dealing with some weird people anyway, so. Yeah. I don't they know. Truck and they say, oh, you you say you know, what? 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 Hold on, one one at a time. Who who said what? <laughs> I said I said if, if they search the truck without permission and then they say I can even say nothing, like I don't have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. You have a Fifth Amendment right. If they find it, like, you found it, so now what are you gonna do? That's it. You know. But what she I mean? she clearly gave them permission. No, I, no, no, no. She did. She did. She's retarded. Well, she I, didn't give them permission. She she she, she, she didn't. Right, no, she ahead. didn't give them permission. He he took it as probable cause to uh, to search the truck 
because you know she she opened it up by saying that she had the knife and and the knife well, was yeah, there it is. yeah. She, you don't know how she was. She probably anything. she couldn't start her ring. Again, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It's just holes in the story. You know what I mean? You never know. It's her side, his side, then the truth. So you'll never really know. I mean, but did she get any kind of citations or anything? Yeah, she she got a citation for the uh for for the dashboard, the clutter, the clutterness of the dashboard. I don't understand that. Like, why do you why do why do y'all do that? I ain't gonna say y'all, but why do truckers do that? Why do you keep your dash? But did, like, is your car like that? I seen. I got my bills I, on. I, I told. I, I I told her. I I seen plenty. I, I'm out here in the truck stop now. I'm o- I'm over here. To, I just walked past a couple of trucks that got garbage, like garbage, trash on the dashboard. And I seen, I seen like truckers that goes through the DOT scales with garbage on their shit, and they they get waved through. Like, like I told her, I was probably I, I told her it, it was just they was just probably on something. You know what I'm saying? They probably didn't get no pussy or anything like that. So they. Well, they just I thank to, God that know. my you know that my border patrol officer was fresh out of the bed getting laid. You know. <laughs> Like I said, I, I don't understand why 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 truck drivers do that. I mean, like I said, I I uh, like my my GPS is on the dashboard, and I I got you know a few That's things. Me. I got a few things on my dashboard, I but I, but when I go like when I go through the scale, when I when I go up and go through the scale, I make sure I take all that shit down. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I just I don't know. You got a whole ass truck. You know what I mean? You got a whole truck. If you want to throw your garbage somewhere, at least throw it on the passenger side on the floor or something. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I've been in the shop. I've been in the shop for the last two damn weeks in and out. And one thing I've been hearing from the mechanics is like, why your truck smells good? Why your truck is so clean? Like, what the fuck do y'all be getting into? He's like, I you just don't even want to know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're sure. Like, well, you don't. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but you can tell, like, people ain't out here living right. Just because you're a truck driver does not mean that you have to be some big, foul, nasty, stinky motherfucker. Like, listen, y'all get free fucking showers every time you feel. There's no harm in washing your ass. Mm-mm, no harm in it. Take your time. Nah, they, wash nah, these super, on a daily these basis. super truckers out here. I thought you knew, uh, Allie. I did some... But you got you to gotta take a 30 somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Even if you just go splash some water on your nut. <laughs> The that nose is me and molested. <laughs> so you ain't never had that experience. I, yeah, the trucker, the trucker, the trucker fly guys that still stink are the ones that get me. I'm like, you stink, but you look like you're fresh. <laughs> right. You're smelling like a whole fucking open ended ass. Like, God, you fall into the Okay, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a phone. All right, Allie, thanks a lot for Later. stopping in. I All appreciate right, bye, you. Bye, bye. Later. <laughs> Allie that was, Cat. That was fun. Allie Cat. <laughs> that's, my, that's my girl, man. I'm telling you, she, just, like I said, man, she, she. She's a firecracker. Yes, yes, she is, man. Yes, she is. <laughs> Definitely Allie Cat. But, uh, yeah, man, like I said, that's, I, that's what I'm tripping on, the fact that a dog. The, the the dog was like, the dog was like, 
piece of butt. Like no, no, like she said, no, no bigger than a damn nickel. So. Yeah, well, obviously, well, I mean, someone, someone didn't see that truck, bro. Yeah, like, but sometimes, yeah. sometimes the police is, is hypo. And those border patrol is very hypo. Because one time I got pulled over in California, San Diego, on the border. They're talking about, we want to see if we're bringing people in the country. I'm saying to myself, didn't you, you send a boat over there to pick me up and bring me over here? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. But you know what I'm going well, listen, guys, man, I'm about to go ahead and uh, shut it down. I really do appreciate, uh, really do appreciate you, uh, D. Nitty, for bringing uh, me and Aaron together, man. I do appreciate that. I appreciate you, Aaron, coming on and uh, chopping it up with me, you know, giving us a little bit of stories and all like that, man. You're a part of the LOM community, man. I do appreciate it. What y'all about to get in? What y'all about to get into tonight? Where y'all heading out to in the morning? <clears throat> I gotta go to Ohio tomorrow morning. Oh, see, I'm on my way back to Ohio. What about you, D? I'm in Ohio right now. Man, man, look, look at that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm parked 20 miles from where I gotta be, and, so I, I, and I'm stuck down here. I, I'm, I'm stuck down here in Texas until tomorrow morning, and then I'll be on my way to Ohio. Now I'm going to Coco, Coco Port, something like Grove that. Grove Port. Yeah, I'm in Bedford Heights. Oh, you in? Be- oh, you outside of my the outside of my neighborhood? You in? You in the suburbs of where I'm from, man? <laughs> And you, you yeah, going? Right there and, the 80, I'm the and you going, uh, Aaron? You going to Groveport? Where you going at in the Groveport? Uh, wait a minute, I'll let you know in a minute. Lowe's. Who? Lowe's. Lowe's. Oh, you going to the? Yeah, yep. you going to the Lowe's distribution center? Yeah, that's Groveport yep. is right outside of Columbus. So yeah, you yeah. Oh, okay. And I'm and I'm down here in in Texas. <laughs> Oh, yeah. shit. One day you got one on the West Coast. So we're going we to go for lunch and dinner. Nah, we're we not doing West Coast, bro. I, I, you know what? I am coming. I am uh, I am going to Nevada, though. I, I did. Uh, me and my fleet manager already made plans for uh, probably like sometime in April, May, or some shit like that. So he's going to actually get me out to. Uh, he's going to actually get me out to. Uh, Las Las Vegas, uh, D Nitty. So, got to start saving yeah, some money. We got a yard. We got a yard there. Yeah, I got to. St- yeah, we got a yard there. Yeah, I got to. I, I got to start saving some money, D. Yeah. Where Where to go and play at though, man? Because I heard I heard playing on the strip is is not all that is not all that hot. I need to play off the strip. Nope. No, nope. who said that? That's what that, that's what I've been hearing. They said that uh, like the big like the big places like uh, Bellagio. Uh, Aria. I, I I go to Caesars. That's where I go, and I go to um, I go to Caesars, and I, then if you want to, if you really want to take a stab, these people play hard though, bro. That, if you go to uh, the Nugget, the Nuggets, no joke. Okay, see, that's what they were talking nugget. about. You know, they said that if I want to, if is if I'm going to go like on the strip, I'm going to end up getting in with some hardcore players. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you kind of want that, though. If you have a good night. You, <laughs> you make money fast. Well, let me tell you something. I, I, I already just, I, I already just got capped. Like when I was over here at the Windstar. So yeah, not, not, a, not a fan. Yo, the Windstar is funny, bro. I never had bad luck. Like I've had bad luck. I, man, there, I, and it's still, it, it, it still continued yesterday, man. Can't believe it. Yeah, I flopped. I, up with those cards, I, bro. I, I flopped two pair. I flopped two pair, and the motherfucker <laughs> ran into a straight. I get I get pocket jacks on a I get pocket jacks on a bullshit board and then the king comes on the fucking river and the dude had dude bet forty dollars on the he had ace king. I had to call I, I yeah, had Jack. to call him because I'm thinking he's bluffing at it, but he turns over ace king. You want a one two or one? No, three? it was one three. Then um then uh I get a king I get a king high flush. King high flush. I bet 40. Tell me why this motherfucker go all in. I I, I can't call it because I'm thinking he got the nuts. He, he got the ace. I turn my card over. The dealer gets mad at me like he gets mad at me. Well, you can't turn your card over. I was like, well, me and him heads up. You know what I'm saying? I said the only thing, the only thing that could beat this king is an ace of hearts. That's it. So, oh, wow. you know. No, he ain't had a full house. He he had, he ain't had. It wasn't no the board. 
you know, the board wasn't paired or nothing like that. So the heart, the the flush card came on the river. So when I bet it, when I bet it 40, because I was, I, actually I was chasing the flush. So I was the one, everybody was checking to me. So I bet 20 on a, I bet 20 on a turn. I mean, not the turn. I bet 20 on a, on a, on a flop. Everybody called about, let me see. It was four people. So it was me and three other people. They all call. I bet on the turn, I bet 50. 50, okay? I bet 50 on the turn. Two people, uh, two, no. Let me think. One person folded, the other two called. The flush card came. So I down betted the 40, you know, thinking that they, that they was chasing the, that they ch- was ch- chasing the flush too. The other dude, I, I down betted the 40. The one dude folded. The other motherfucker went all in. So I'm like, so I turned my card over. I'm like, the only thing that could beat this king right here, bro, I, I got the second nuts. So that all in, is, that, that all in told me that he had the nuts, right? I couldn't, mm-hmm. I, I couldn't, he, he's sitting with, I'm, I'm sitting short stacked. I had maybe about, maybe about, about sixty dollars. Yeah, I had about sixty dollars behind, so I'm I'm short stack. But the pot was deep. Now, second thought, I I should have called the motherfucker. I should have called him, and then I you know folded. I I folded. Oh, I, man. I know I I folded because I asked him. I was like I asked him. I was like you you had the you had the ace of hearts. He was like no, I had a flush though. And I was like, "Wow!" I ain't folding like. Listen, I, I won't fold the king unless it was a tor- like tournament, like it, tournament. Mm-hmm. It might not be worth my tournament life. You know what I mean? Like if, I, if I'm trying to survive, you know what right. I mean. But in a cash game, I probably would have fucking called it that. I, I, the king's the king. I know, bro. man. I know. I should have let. You know what I mean? But like I said, I, dude, my- I almost had a straight flush. And I pulled, I pulled a, a, an almost straight flush, and I already had the flush. Oh, I ran it. So I was opening straight flush, oh. and I and I was and I I, I folded because you raised me four hundred dollars, like everything I had in my stack. And I was like, no Listen, way. bro, like, up in Columbus, I was I ran into a fucking straight flush. The chick was, you know, I had the I had the ace, I had the nuts, I had the nuts. Chick went uh uh she she betted a hundred, I had the nuts. I went all in because I had about 150. I went all in. She ran in. She she ran a fucking straight flush. Her eight her eight of hearts came on a fucking river. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, I, God, I, I was I, I was just I was too through, man. I was too through. So yeah, but hey, I got that I got that app. That's that's a good ass app, man. So I'm I'm playing that a lot. So. Thanks for hooking me up. Oh, for that. Are you on? Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on the app. What, the, the one that actually looks at you, or is it the. No, I got the, the the one that's called Poker Face. Yeah, bro. I try to find you. should find me on the. We play together. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll send it out. I'll, I'll send it out to you as soon as I hang up, man. I'll go in and uh, send it out to you because I'm about to. What time is it? About 8 of, uh, or 7 o'clock over here, 7 44. I'm about to go and grab me something to eat. Yeah. And um, I'm about to grab me something to eat. And uh, take some of this stuff back over to the truck and try probably edit a little bit up tonight, man. But yeah, I appreciate all you guys coming on, man. If you guys like shit like this, yo, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. Don't forget to hit that all button. I do appreciate you guys being on here. I am lockout, man. This is my man D Nitty and his man Aaron. I appreciate you brothers for coming on here. You guys is uh next time, you know. Hey, we always open, man. If y'all got some good stories to tell or something like that, come on on and I'll get you in. All right, I appreciate you guys. Y'all take it easy and we're out. <laughs>